Hi everyone, this is Dr. Jyoti Bala. I welcome you all on my YouTube channel. And this session we will be exploring about a wonderful tool that is S4. It's a powerful tool for predicting RNA secondary structure. So we will be exploring this tool and we'll be doing demonstration also. So let's get started. As you know, RNA secondary structure prediction is an important task in molecular biology that can help us to understand the function of RNA molecule. And it is playing wonderful role in RNA biology and RNA therapeutic. For the beginner, I wanted to introduce S-Fold. S-Fold is a software tool that can predict the secondary structure of RNA molecule based on its sequences. S-Fold is available as a web-based tool. So if you're new to this platform, please use this link to come to this platform. I will be putting this in the description as well. So as I mentioned, S-Fold is available as a web-based tool making it accessible to researcher and student all over the world. So to use the S-Fold, simply go to S-Fold website, upload your RNA sequences in FASTA format. And please remember that S-Fold has multiple subsections also for different tools and for different analysis. So very specifically in S-Fold, you have to go to sRNA. Once you uploaded your sequences, S-Fold will analyze it and predict the most likely secondary structure that RNA molecules can predict. So this is the result. This kind of result you will be going to get. The S-Fold output and results include the visualization of the predicted secondary structure as well as the list of base pairs and their probabilities. And by comparing the predicted secondary structure to the RNA sequence, you can gain insight into the function of RNA molecule. For example, you might be able to identify reasons of the RNA that are involved in the binding to other molecule or the reasons that are important for a catalytic activity. So in our RNA aptamer project, we often use this platform. So let me elaborate the output and the result which you often get in the S4. So first thing is that you are going to get the predicted secondary structure. So as I mentioned, the most important part of S-Fold output is the visualization of the predicted secondary structure. This is usually displayed as a diagram that shows the base pair pairing between the nucleotide and the RNA molecule. The diagram can help researcher to understand how the RNA molecule fold into the specific shape and how the different reason of the molecule interact with each other. Additionally, they are also going to give you the free energy of the predicted structure. The S-Fold output also include an estimate of the free energy of the predicted structure. So you will going to get the ideas about the stability of that structure and that molecule. As delta G and the free energy is the measure of stability of the structure with more negative values indicating more stable structure. The free energy can help researcher assess the likelihood that the predicted structure is correct and stable. Here in S-Fold, you are also going to get base pairing probability. S-Fold also provides probabilities for each base pair in the predicted structure. These probabilities give an estimate on how likely each base pair is to form in the actual RNA molecule. High probability of base pair are more likely to be correct while the low probability base pairs may be less reliable you can say. S-Fold also provide option for outputting additional information such as alignment of the predicted structures with other RNA structure or the ability to compare multiple predicted structure for the same RNA sequence. So at the RNA level structure alignments you can do. In summary, the output from the S-Fold include a range of information that can help researchers and scientists to interpret the predicted secondary structure of an RNA molecule. By analyzing these output, researcher can gain insight about RNA functionality based on the structure and also use this information to guide further experiments and research. S-Fold has been used by researchers around the world to study wide range of RNA molecules from simple RNAs like tRNAs to complex RNA viruses like SARS-CoV-2. Thanks for watching this demo of the S-Fold tool. We hope that this tool will help you gain deeper understanding of RNA structure and function. If you have any queries, please feel free to reach me. We also provide training in such subject areas and we are also open for the collaboration related to RNA research. Thank you so much.